Let's do a card game. I'm going to talk about two different animals out of these three animals. The panda bear. Fishies. Or the skunk. I don't want to talk about a skunk. Well, okay. Let's shuffle these cards and see what we get. One minute later. Okay, good. I laid it all out and I have no idea which is which. Okay, let's pick one. Hope it's not the skunk. And... <gasps> it's the panda bear! Oh yeah! One of my favorite animals! Whew! Glad I didn't choose the skunk. Ah, <sighs> the wild panda. You gotta love the wild panda. Cute, playful, but there is only one place that the pandas live in. And that is in the southeast of China where the bamboo forests are. Why? Well, we eat pizzas, apples, bread, bananas, freezies, the end of the pole screen on our hoodie. But pandas, no, they eat bamboo. So these forests in the southeast China is about where the pandas live. Unfortunately, there is only one problem. And who is that problem? Us. It is all our fault. We are building houses. We are using factories. We are building farms. And we are using roads, which is also going to be a cause to global warming and pollution. Now there is only 1600 pandas left in the wild. So if you want to help us with the animals, learn about them and donate, please go to conservation.org. Whoa. Whoa, was I a puzzle piece? Okay, now that I talked to you about the panda bear, this goes out. Ah, oh, whatever, it fell over the table. Anyways, I have two left, so now I'm gonna shuffle them. <sighs> Another minute later. Hey, I can read you, dope. Oh my god, a talking chipmunk! Okay. Now, please don't be the skunk. Okay. There we go. And it's. talk about the stupid old skunk. I'd rather talk about the little fishies. What am I gonna do now? Because I don't know anything about the skunk except they spray stinky stuff out of their ass. Ah, uh, don't worry about that, Nathan. You know, you can use your chance card. Really? I didn't know there was a chance card in this game. Yes, you can use this chance card if you got an animal you don't want to talk about. And you can redo your turn again, and you'll have a chance that you may not get the animal you want. Really? Can I use it? Because I do not want to talk about the skunks. No problem. One minute and one second later. Okay, now I'm using my chance card. Hopefully, hopefully, I don't get the skunk. Okay, I already switched it around, so let's see. Do this. Oh my head of God, yes! I got the fish! Oh jeez, I am glad I didn't get the skunk! how did this get up here? Ah, <sighs> the little fishies. They are so beautiful. It's like they're magically floating in the water. 
But there is only one problem of why most of them are going extinct. Us, the human being. We are going fishing, and we are catching them to eat them. Aw, oh, look at that poor little thing. Isn't that just mean? Having a hook right through a fish's mouth so they can catch it reel it in? So if we don't want these fishes to go extinct, my theory is, is that we should do less fishing and only use fishing if we need it for like survival. By the way, when I went fishing, I found this in the lake. Now here's a tip for you, if you find a boot or garbage or some sort of can in the lake, don't just throw it back in the water and leave it there. Pick it up, put it in your boat, and then take it with you until you get to a garbage or recycle. If you leave it in the water, it can pollute the water and people will think it's just a garbage dump. And if they put it in, they could pollute the water, kill the fish, and destroy habitat, cause in live in things that live near the water to stay away from it, which means they probably would die. Well, since I told you a lot about what I know for fishing and that we should fish less, here's a friend of mine, Fishy. Say hi, Fishy. Hi, kids. My name is Fishy. Yeah. So tell me, Fishy, why do you think we should stop fishing? Because we don't want to be killed or eaten. I mean, we never did anything to you. I know. It's like as if a bully was bullying on you for no reason. That happens a lot at school. Sometimes it even happens with my friends. But, I trust you. So, what do you have to say? Well, what about you, Nathan? Do you ever go fishing? You know what? I do not like fishing because it takes me a long ass time to get the stupid fish and I want to be nice to the fish. From now on, I am not going to eat a single fish in my whole life ever again. Yeah? Come on, time for dinner. Really? What are we having? Salmon. You son of a... Hello, everybody. Now, I am going to see what kind of jobs people want. First, I'm going to ask Riker. Riker, what kind of job would you like? Oh well, we'll just skip him anyways. Anyways, Jonathan, do you have a job? Well, I don't have a job, but I do plan to get one. And I know the exact one to get. Well, what is it? I plan to cut down trees so I can supply people with many paper. <laughs> oh, that's great, Jonathan. Really great. That was the most awesome job I ever heard. It sucks! Don't you realize what kind of effects you could do? That kind of job will do nothing but destroy habitat. Everyone who is watching this video right now is now ten times more dumber for having to listen to your stupid, pathetic idea of a job. I have a wonderful job, and I am going to write books about conservation, and what are you going to do? NOTHING! NOTHING! Okay, Nathan, you should really calm down. No, I will not calm down. Your stupid job of yours is going to do nothing but destroy habitat and lead animal extinction. I am going to press forward and save the animals, and what are you going to do? I want you to get your lazy ass out of this room right now and take your stupid piece of crap and job with you. Out! 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 Oh, fine. Screw you. I am not your friend anymore. You know what? I have no idea why I'm here. And first of all, I'm not even in that room. I am talking through you through my computer to yours. Now, you know what? Screw you because I'm not your friend anymore. <laughs> I think I may have overreacted a little. 